Hello darlings, my name is Stephen Davies and I'm the Knob by the Hop. So I've got Claire and Joe here, plus uh, Diogo and Christiana and obviously Adam's here. Um, so the six of us are going to have some lunch in the garden, it's a beautiful uh, day today. So I'm going to make a little salad. It's going to be a quinoa, bluey cheese and uh, pomegranate uh, salad. These are just mixed leaf, uh, just any mixed leaf salad, you can, any salad stuff really. Big bowl of that. Then I'm going to grill some halloumi on my uh, griddle there. And again, I got this, it's a good quality one from, from Waitrose. I'm going to stick those on now. Okay, so the base of the salad is, I've just buy this Jamie Oliver super tomato and olive quinoa. Um, I'm going to use three bags, I think there's six of us. Pour that in to a bowl. Break it all up so there's not any large lumps in there. And then I add, um, I've just chopped up some fresh mint and some fresh uh, parsley. Put that in there. So these are uh, red onions. As I've said before, I always sort of marinate them in white wine, vinegar and garlic salt. So it's just those, put a few of those in there. Then I'm going to add some more tomatoes. And I'm also going to put in some sun dried tomatoes. Um, I forgot to mention earlier with my, uh, when I made my Bloody Mary, you can also put a couple of these sun dried tomatoes on the top of your Bloody Mary, which is quite nice. So I chop them up, mix that all in. Of course, add a little bit of my garlicky salt on there. I'll also put a little bit of olive oil. I am going to make a little dressing in a minute, um, but I just put a little bit in there anyway, just to sort of moisten it up a little bit. There you go. Now I'm going to make a dressing, um, very straightforward. Sometimes I don't even bother putting this dressing in a bowl, by the way, I just throw it on the salad. So it's always olive oil. Again, as you know, I love a good quality olive oil. This is a Lorenzo, extra virgin Italian, but Spanish, whichever, I just love a good quality olive oil. A little splash of um, white wine vinegar. I keep calling these. I can't. But I'm not sure if they are. They might be Sardinian. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Sardinia or Sicily. Um, these are really juicy, as you know, so a good squeeze of lemon juice in there. Just going to use half of one today. Then a little bit of honey. This is just a normal uh, Dutch of Cornwall organic honey. Drizzle of that in there. Blend all those together. Always taste it. Mm. That's a classic dress and it can't go in. You don't have to put mustard in it if you don't want to, but the rest, delicious. I'm gonna pour that over the, um, the leaves. Keep a little tiny bit back and just pour a little bit in there as well. Put some polygram seeds in there. What I find with this when you put a, you can put an orange in there as well if you want to, cut, cut up little segments of orange. I just feel when you put a fruit, the acid, acidicness from the fruit and the, the, it makes the salad, lifts the salad, always fresh and just feels it nice. And these pomegranate seeds are lovely. Um, and then put a little few over the actual the salad as well. The other thing I always love putting in salads, because they're, they're buttery and lovely, is um, pine kernels. So I always throw a few in there as well. It gives a little bit of crunch. The other ingredient I sometimes use, mascarpone cheese. You can, it's such a versatile thing. It can be savory or sweet, you can stick it in anything. I just put a little bit, sometimes I would put a little bit in the dressing. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. It's a dollop or two. And again, I'm gonna mix that in.
I was watching um, a chef the other day. He always, obviously, you couldn't do this, but he puts his salad right, when he's mixing something. He puts it around the edge of the bowl, not in it. So when he mixes it, it comes from the outside in rather than there's a load of it built up on any particular part of the salad. So just mix that together. So the last piece was putting together the halloumi and I've got some roasted red peppers. And I've bought them already done, again, from um, Waitrose. Just jar of roasted red peppers. They come whole in the jar. Slice them. Um, I want them to be a similar size to the halloumi because I'm just going to layer them on the plate just to make them look nice. So Claire can bring Sure. Yeah, so, like, so I'm going to put a piece of a halloumi and a piece of and a pepper. It's probably a quarter of the pepper to the slice of halloumi. So I go to Cornwell. We have a boys' weekend, um, the first bank holiday in May, at my friend Sam Melush's house on the beach uh, in Booby Bay. Um, we always go down for a few nights, it's a bit of a boozy weekend. But we always go into Padstow and I always go to Rick Stein's shop and his wife does some really lovely uh, interior stuff. And I always come back with loads of plates and dishes and bits and pieces and things. So I'm going to just put a little bit of uh, pepper and a little splash of olive oil. So I've actually been I always like research new stuff that I can use and I found these amazing toppings in Waitrose. They've all been kind of like very sort of boutiquely branded. This is a salad topping, it smells amazing. It's got a little bit spicy. There's um, uh, linseed, hemp seed, red onion, red bell pepper flakes, grated tomato, uh, cumin, peppercorns. It's just a lovely little a seasoning for the top of the salad and I love a little crunch of it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that over the salad and also over the, the quinoa salad. That's our lunch today. Grilled halloumi with red pepper, quinoa and tomato salad uh, with um, some pomegranate and some green leaves. And we'll mix all that together for lunch later. Okay, so we're all out here enjoying a lunch. So we're gonna have palfi, which is a really lovely Hungarian wine uh, from Lake Balaton. Adam and I went there a couple of weekends ago with Claire and John. And this is what we're gonna enjoy our lunch with. Thank you.